Cotton making plays a key role in the garment production process. Cottons bring to life designs and sketches produced by fashion designers. On this channel, I'll teach you the principles underlying all garment types and the techniques employed by pattern makers to achieve amazing and fabulous styles. Hi, my name is Na Abele and this is Patterns with Na. Hello, good people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Na Abele and you're most welcome once again. In this channel, we learn the rudiments of pattern making. We learn the principles and the techniques to simplify pattern making for us and to make it interesting. And so today, we're going on to our paper. We've already seen the demonstration on the dummy or on the stand, on how to transfer that around the body to effect um, new styles. But as we said earlier, we cannot do that for every single garment. So we move on to our table to work on paper and flat pattern making to make it simple. Now we are starting with dart manipulation, which is the first principle in pattern making. And then we're also learning the techniques. And the first technique on our card is the slash spread technique or the slash and spread technique or the cut and spread technique. So the technique is cut and spread or slash spread, but the principle is that manipulation. So that's what we're doing today. And today we're going to learn how to effect the transfer of a single dart. So we're just going to do the single dart transfer in today's, um, today's work. So as usual, I have traced out my block. So this is the bodice block, the front bodice, and I've traced it out for slice spread. You should trace it out and then cut it out of your paper. So I've done that with all the markings and I'm going to put the block away. So here we are. So today we're going to transfer the buzz dart, which is this one, the buzz dart to the armhole. We're going to learn to transfer the buzz dart to the armhole using the slash spread technique. So this is how the technique goes. So we identify, I'll just put it on this card for, for ease of, uh, mm -hmm. to make it easy to draw the slash lines. So we identify the new location. With the slash spread technique, identify the new location. So in this instance, we are moving the buzz dart to the armhole. So the armhole is the new location. We look for it and then we find it. And then we draw a slash line from the new location to the bust point, the bust point. So the slash line is here to the bust point. We've done that. And then the next thing is to slash through the new location to the bust point. Now you slash through the slash line. You see, we first drew a slash line and now we slash through it to the bust point. Don't go beyond it. Now you, you will come to the dart to be transferred. In this case, it is the bust dart. And then select one of the dart legs. These are the dart legs. And this is the dart excess. It's the space between the dart legs. That's the dart excess. So we select one of the dart legs for transfer. I, you know, just by practice and then, you know, for, I find it simpler. Moving, so always selecting the dart leg further away from the new location. So I select the dart leg further away from the new location, but that is not to say that you cannot select the other dart leg. The other dart leg is equally effective. I just do this for ease. You see why in a moment. Okay, so also slash along that dart leg to 
the bust point. Don't go through it so you don't cut it all off. And then you get this hanging, you get this effect, which is the hinge. You get the hinge, the effect. So you can swing this piece easily. You can work with it easily. So after that, you raise this part up, lift it up, and just slide this, this smaller piece underneath this. Join the dart legs. And the moment you do that, you realize that this space opens in the new location. It is the dart that has been transferred to this new location. So this, this space is actually the bus dart. Let me go back. I'll just go back gently. Yes, so this is the original location, uh, position. So uh, we identify the new location. In this case, is the armhole. So we identified it and then you draw a slash line from the new location to the bus point, which we did. And then you slash through the new location to the bus point. Don't go through it, just to the bus point. And then you come to the dart to be transferred and then um, select a dart leg, one of the dart legs. I, you know, just by pre preference, I just preference, I prefer the dart leg further away from the new location. So I select that and then you slash through it to the bus point. Don't go through it. Then you create what we call a hinge. You create a hinge. This is it. Very easy to manipulate. And so you slide this under the rest of the pattern and then join the dart legs. That's it. You join it and then automatically the space will open in the new location and that is the dart effectively transferred mm -hmm. so that's what it says you've transferred this dart so tape it down and then tape it tape it yeah so here we are you tape it down mm -hmm. So let me cut this out so it doesn't confuse it. So the bus dart is no more there as a bus dart. It's been transferred to the armhole. And so you take your paper and put it underneath it, your pattern, and then tape it, tape it down. Remember it's a pattern, so we cannot work with the, with um, that's the space simply gaping at us. We need to fill it up to complete our, our pattern. So here we go. Tip it down. Tip it down quickly. That's it. So it's taped down. So we've taped it all down. And so what I do is I'll then remove this excess. We just um to reduce the bulk that's it so here we are mm -hmm. so you can see the bus that has now been transferred to the armhole yeah so I'll just finish off by sending the that excess where it should be at the sewing I trim it off I trim off the success that's it and then here we are don't just cut it, but, but we'll come to that. You know, how to complete the dart will be in another video. We'll come to that. In this video, we are learning to use the slash spread technique to effect the transfer of darts. And that's what you've done. We just moved the bus dart to the armhole. So I'll do a second one quickly. Yes. In the second project, in the same video, we are going to move. We're going to move the waist dart to the center front, the corner. The center front at the waist. Mm -hmm. The waist at the center front. So we'll quickly do that. So what we do is again to locate our new location. Locate the new location, which is here. 
and then draw a slash line from this new location to the bus point. Draw a slash line from the new location to the bus point. So the next thing to do is we slash through this location, this new location to the bus point. Slash through it just to the bus point, but not through it. Don't go through it. Mm -hmm. So go to the dart to be moved. And this is the dart to be moved. Mm -hmm. It's the waist dart. And I prefer, as I said earlier, I prefer the dart leg further away from the new location. That's not to say you cannot use this other dart leg. You can. But select one of the dart legs and then slash through that to the bus point. You create a hinge. And then create a hinge. And then slide the hinge underneath the rest of the pattern bringing the dart legs together effectively closing that dart and then transferring the dart to the new location i'll go over it again this this way it will wear this way we were initially mm -hmm. now you will find the new location in this case this is a new location you draw a slash line from the new location to the bus point and then slash through that new location to the bus point but not through it now I come to the dart to be moved and then select the dart leg. I prefer the dart leg further away from the new location. Slash through that dart leg to the bus point. Again, not through it, to create a hinge. You see, we create a hinge like that. And then slide it gently under the rest of the pattern for the two dart legs to meet then tape it down tape the whole thing down tape it down tape it down tape it this is it so now this space mm -hmm. this open space is the dart which has been transferred to this place. And so we'll fill it up quickly. Fill it up with the paper. Then we'll tip it down. So I'm gonna trim off the rest of the paper to reduce bulk. So here we are. So we'll finish off. This is this will be the final location. This is where the dart excess will go. It's just going to go back. That's it. So you can see the dart, the waste dart, transferred to this new location in the front. <laughs> So this is it. So I'm going to paint this up quickly for you. Okay? So this is when it is sewn. This is what it will look like. This sewn will look like this. Remember in this particular one, it was the waist dart which was transferred. Yeah, so here we are. So I'm taping it for you to see. So in this design, the machinist will have two darts to sew. The machinist will have the bus dart and then the waist dart. The waist dart transferred to this location. And so if we want this thing, this pretty beautiful thing to fit, it means we also have to hold out the bus dart. These are the two existing darts. Mm -hmm. The two existing darts now. And the bus dart in its original position and then the waist dart transferred to the new location, which we have done. So we pin them up nicely. I'm going to yeah, tip it and then I'll pin it up for you to see. Yeah, that's it. You can see the shape. <laughs> it's very, that's the shape. So when it's sewn, this is what it will look like. The machinist will follow the guide provided by the pattern maker and then produce the style for us. The style. So I'm going to, I'm going to just pin this up. You look at them. This has a style line here. Buzz that where it is. Buzz that 
has now been transferred in the second one to the bath that uh, to the armhole then the waist that is where it is so that so that's the style as you can see the bath that is closed and then it's been transferred to the armhole the bath that has been transferred to the armhole in this instance the waist that is where it always occurs naturally so let's quickly pin up the second one. So there you have it. Mm -hmm. The bust that remains where it occurs naturally, and then the waist that has been transferred to the center from the corner. So you can see it. You see? The waist that is here has now been transferred and the bath that means the fittest. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Please share with your friends. Everybody, bring them on board. And please remember to leave your comments. Your comments are very, very important to us. And we are grateful for another beautiful day please enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and we'll meet you again in the next video bye bye